Hi everyone, welcome back to Life of Clay for another sculpting video. This is Kenji, your sculptor, and today I will be making a realistic fowl white cedar bonsai tree, Tuja occidentalis, using paper clay. And before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and turn on the notification bell icon to see more of my sculpting videos in the future. And without further ado, come bring the clay on and let's get started. Let's start by building its armature using this cut-out piece of plywood for the base of the tree and attach this piece of wood button which I drilled several holes in it and cut its other end slanted. I apply wood glue to reinforce the bond and screw it in place. Now let's prepare the branches using galvanized wires. I just crisscrossing and twisting them to form the asymmetrical arrangement of the small branches. Then I apply wood glue and wrap the branches with the strips of tissue paper in overlapping motion, working my way outward and sealing each tip. Then after that, I wrap the central branch with a strip of cotton cloth to add thickness. Branches are done, let us now move on to its central trunk. And for the trunk, I use these harder pieces of wires and insert them to these holes and lock them in place. Then I form a log of aluminum foil for its core filler and I secure the entire trunk with wires. And then I just bend it to position. Then I poke large holes all the way through it asymmetrically and insert the branches twisting their ends to lock them in place. Then, I cover it with more sheets of aluminum foil to bulk it up. Most of the materials I used in this project were recycled and yes, I consider myself as a waste picker because I collect, salvage, and reuse things I see elsewhere which to others they are just trash but for me, I see them in a very different way and I always believe that I can give them another value in another form. And then, I wrap around cotton twine and cotton cloth to secure the foil. And I began sculpting it. Unfortunately, I accidentally deleted the video where I start adding up the clay and I couldn't recover it after numerous attempts. So let's begin on this part instead. I've started working with the lower section of the central trunk and I've just added globs of paper clay until it's fully covered and then shape it out. I made this paper clay myself using egg paper trays, terracotta air dry clay, and PVA glue. And I also personally made these special tools for this project. These were made out of aluminum sheet and I just added wooden handles to them. And now I'm adding texture by gliding the spoon tool up and down for the softer peeled section of the tree. Adding more glob of paper clay on this part and make a trunk knuckle to add more natural look to it. And using this hook shaped spoon tool to create the split edges of the bark. 
After this, I just set it aside and let it dry for a few days. Now the lower section is dried, we can now resume sculpting the upper section of our bonsai. We're just doing the same procedure here, adding spoonful of paper clay all the way to the top of the tree. Bulking up and shaping the dead branches. Adding texture to the bark and other live branches and texturing the peeled section of the tree. Bonsai, literally translated means tray planting, is the Japanese and East Asian art of growing and training miniature trees in containers. Developed from the traditional Chinese art form of penjing. Penjing and bonsai differ in that the former attempts to display wilder, more naturalistic scenes often representing landscapes, including elements such as water, rocks, or figurines. On the other hand, bonsai typically focuses on a single tree or a group of trees of the same species, with a higher level of aesthetic refinement. And then I add crater to the dead top of the tree. And after this, again, I let it dry for a few days. And let us now paint it. I first paint the barkless parts of the tree with light beige acrylic paint. And then burnt acrylic paint for the parts of the tree with bark. And after that, I paint the bark with a mix of burnt amber, black, and sap green. And since we're doing the white cedar, let's have some pieces of information about it. Tuja occidentalis, also known as northern white cedar, eastern white cedar, or arborvitae, is an evergreen coniferous tree in the Cyprus family, Cuprisaceae, which is native to eastern Canada and much of the north central and northeastern United States. It is widely cultivated as an ornamental plant. Arborvitae is Latin for tree of life due to the supposed medicinal properties of the sap, bark, and twigs. Then I dry brush it with a lightened version of the same paint mix. I just added titanium white to the mix. Then I paint the peeled parts of the tree with a streak of titanium white, burnt sienna, burnt amber, and neutral green. Let us now work on our bonsai's base and ground. I'm gonna stack these two pieces of plyboard and screw them underneath the wood base of our bonsai to elevate it, and so the base of the tree will be seen when displayed. I first line the inside of the ceramic dish with plastic film to protect it from cement and clay, and also we can lift it out easily for painting later on. Now let's add in the cement, and after this, I just set it aside for 24 hours and let the cement to dry. Cement is now completely dried, we can now sculpt its ground. Let us now add spoonfuls of paper clay leaving at least 2 cm of clearance from the rim of the dish. And then shape out the base of the roots to blend them in and add bark texture on them. And again, I just set it aside for a few days and let the clay to dry. Fully dried and I leave it out of the dish and we are now gonna paint it. I'm gonna use the same second layer paint mix we use on the bark.
then dry brush the barks with the same lighter version of the paint mix. Then I smudge the ground with wash of sap green, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and light green. Paint is dried and now I apply glue on some areas and sprinkled with this green modeling powder grass. And then shake the excess off. Now I'm adding this dried lichen reindeer moss to add more natural effect on the ground. Then I paint the surface of the mosses with light green to give them highlights. And we can now seal the entire trunk and its ground with ultra matte water based varnish. And finally, we can now glue it back to the dish using two parts epoxy. And for the final touch, we can now add this nicely made plastic foliage I bought online. And that's it guys, our realistic faux white cedar bonsai tree is finally done. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit the like button, leave your comments and share this video to all your friends out there. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon to see more of my sculpting videos in the future. And for more updates to all the projects I'm working on, you may follow me in my other social media accounts, the links are in the description box down below. Your support guys means so much to me. Thank you for watching and see you again next time. And wherever you are, have a great day and evening everyone.